Your other account? Top. There is a top behind you. There is you. Second from the start. Mm -hmm. I'll be Bendri with us today, who is a successful actress, an author, homemaker, and a reality show judge. We have uh, Madhuri Lukia, who is a well-known fitness, posture, pilates, and nutrition expert. We also have the discussion. Hello. Hi. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, She's already introduced me. Uh, Shaitaz Mirza has such a responsibility. Just uh, People know me as Shazi. One quick correction over there is that uh, there are fantastic mothers out here. I am mother to a puppy. Uh, my, my challenges are just as uh, important. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're, we're at, a, at a place here where we have such a fantastic panelists with such different, diverse ideas to share. So you know, I'm really excited. And I think we should kickstart this whole thing uh, with a video, um, if I could just, please, thank you. Uh, it's for everybody who doesn't know, and I'm guessing you would, this is CEO of PepsiCo, Indra Nui, please. I don't think women can have... I'd actually like to understand, uh, you know, what, how much of a challenge is it uh, as a working parent in your daily life? Can you give us a bit of an excerpt from your life, please? Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, it's great to be here. Nice to see you all, and... Uh, I'm sitting on a panel of extremely talented women here. Uh, my day is pretty normal in, in, in a lot of uh, ways. Uh, it's the same thing like what she was saying. Uh, am I being the mother, the wife, the daughter-in-law, daughter, or the sister, the friend, or just me at some point? So uh, at, there are times when the day when I get lost being all sorts of other, playing all sorts of these other roles which are not the roles I played in my career, but they're all there. And uh, then there are times, then there's that one bit of time where you, I dig out and find some time, which is my me time, which for me has turned to be my coping me mechanism, as uh, she was saying, which has been my me time. Uh, the guilt factor is also true. It does come in. I think we are all kind of conditioned to it. It's in our DNA, it's in our subconscious to be guilty about uh, a lot of things. As mothers, we feel guilty. As daughters, we feel guilty. I think somewhere, as women, this is kind of in uh, in our upbringing or in our subconscious of as a society itself that even if we are too happy, we start feeling guilty about it. You know, literally. So it's just the guilt is not just about being the mother. It is guilty about things. So these are the things that as you grow and you kind of realize it and you start correcting it and you know saying that no. You use what she, the word was beautiful, the coping mechanism, and you start finding out how you can manage it. So my day is uh, uh, sort of normal in, uh, in, for the longest part of the day. I get up, send my child to school, uh, do housekeeping, get some meals off and finish off the work and everything, attack all that. And then sometimes from afternoon or there are days when it's a shoot and it turns into a completely different kind of a day. So suddenly I'm a very, very normal uh, housewife or a mother or whatever. And then when I go onto the set, I am everything that I'm not in the house. So like what I'm looking like now is exactly opposite of what I would probably looking with the hair all over the place, trying to cope with getting things and getting the son onto the school bus on time, etc., etc. So uh, in certain ways, it's very similar to any normal woman. And uh, in certain ways, it's not. So uh, both of that is kind of uh, a North Pole, South Pole uh, situation for me, where my profession calls me to be, uh, calls me to look a certain way. And then, uh, you know, when you look at the pictures and you get a feeling that, oh, this is a glamorous life and this is so, everything is so perfect and everything. And you just realize that nothing is ever perfect. And uh, behind the glamour, there's a lot of hard work. And uh, uh, that's how uh, the day goes by. So it's not too too much different from what it is with other women. Only the, the celebrity part gets a little different. That's about it, I suppose. Isn't that uh, comforting to hear? <laughs> <laughs> you can be Sonali Vindre and still feel guilty because, hey, we're conditioned. <laughs> Thank you for that perspective. Um, you know, so we have two wonderful uh, nutritionists on the panel here. I'm going to try and spice things up a little. Uh, first, I'm going to pose a question to you, Madhuri. Um, 
we can get te technical data out and everything, but what I really want to understand is that, you know, you are a nutritionist, you have everything on point, you know, etc., etc. this is, needs to be done, at so and so, etc. But you are also a mother of two yeah. young, dynamic girls. So I want to understand the challenges of a nutritionist at home. Uh, you're a working parent and you have two girls, so. Yeah, every time I serve something on the table and it's not healthy, then my, my children say that, Mama, but you're supposed to be a nutritionist. So, you know, I have to be double-time nutritionist with my girls because both of them are also into fitness. And um, one is 26, one is 20, they're dancing into fitness. Wow. And so, you know, what we recently started doing is making that, you know, the whole morning has gone, gone into making our meals. So we have about four or five meals that I cook with my girls in the morning, every morning. So, you know, because if the morning is taken care of, everything's taken care of. And then, uh, you know, we really talk a lot about nutrition now. And earlier, it's much easier for me. Let me, let me confess, it's much easier for me to provide nutrition for my girls when they're into fitness right now and, when, and, and like when they were much younger. Because, you know, then they have those, I don't want to eat this, I don't like this, I don't, you know. So now I say it's going to be healthy, you can be... You can do 20 more squats with something like this. Oh, let me, let me, let me go ahead and, you know, have that. <clears throat> so the challenge has changed now because, you know, my, uh, I, I guess I've been the role model for my children. And they've also adopted the fitness way. So um, we're all about, you know, discussing nutrition. And the other day, my Parisha said that, Mommy, you know, I believe uh, this particular food is not that great anymore. I said, so show, show me the research. I mean, where is, where does that come from? So <laughs> it's really a little... Uh, little different, but I think, you know, planning and packaging small, tight, nutrition, dense meals is the way we go. Fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Thanks, Madhuri. Um, Anju, I want to ask you a question around this only, but, uh, you know, in the course of your career, on a day-to-day -day basis, you interact with so many working mothers. Uh, I'm guessing there must be some semblance of a pattern in that. There must be a few common questions or issues that they have to deal with as well. So, uh, you know, what are they? Can you kind of just elaborate a little, please? Uh, see, definitely there are two observations which I have made. Uh, first observation is the uh, fulcrum of your balanced diet as well as uh, balanced, I'll put it like this, balanced meal and uh, healthy snacking and uh, your exercise or physical activity, it has definitely drifted. People have uh, moved on to something called as unhealthy meal patterns and uh, unhealthy snack time and sedentary lifestyle. This is the first observation which is common. And the second observation is the onset of uh, lifestyle problems, which we call it as ex-metabolic syndrome problems like overweight, obesity, uh, hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular profiling, then PCOD, hormonal imbalances. They have uh, started to happen at a very, very younger age category. So uh, then from the uh, client uh, point of view, the similarity is basically the eating pattern. I would put it like this, ki, uh, probably the awareness level in terms of nutrition is less. And secondly, the time frame is definitely less. And once you correct it, to very large extent, you are able to bring them out of these problems. And if not out of these problems, you inculcate a management regime for them where they are able to manage with their problems. Thank you. Thank you.